where's the first match that you have to go to? Or first sure. Time, rather? Um, so uh, there were like uh, six or seven uh, different areas, um, locations for qualifiers. Um, and I'm going to Indianapolis um, uh, called Broadmoor Country Club. Um, pretty, pretty sweet course. Um, Indianapolis is known to be pretty flat. Um, for the scouting I've done of the course, it's pretty flat, um, little bumps and bunkers and stuff, but it's no, uh, green lakes. So it's, uh, it'll be a pretty fair, pretty fair course, right? Like, um, I think it's going to be open to scoring for anyone and, uh, it's definitely going to be difficult, but it's going to be difficult in ways that if you, if you're on, you're going to be able to, you're going to be able to score. So, um, and if you're not, you know, it's just not one of your days. So we're going to go out there. We're going to see. And um, so it's uh, the qualifier itself is on a Tuesday. Um, we're going to head out there Sunday night. Um, so we'll be we'll be getting into Indianapolis around seven o'clock on Sunday. Um, just kind of lay low. Um, and then Monday, I uh, got a practice round and then uh, going to try and k- take care of the body after traveling and stuff. Um, got two flights to get out there, so not ideal, but you know, it's just that's what it's gonna take for getting out to Indianapolis. Unfortunately, it's not a very popular area for flights, so I uh, gotta go to Atlanta and then over to Indianapolis. So, um, Saturday or sorry, m- I, hate, I hate when you have to do Monday is gonna be uh, Monday is gonna be a little bit of a practice day, but also uh, take care of the body day and then. Tuesday is going to be go time um, and couldn't be more excited for it. And uh, just looking, looking to compete. And I wish it wasn't so early in the year, especially seeing we live in Syracuse, New York, and yeah. it's uh, 45 degrees, windy and rainy today. So uh, my home course isn't even open yet. So got to keep home going course? to the turning soon. Uh, home course is Timber Banks. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah, I'm a member over at Winoa. I've been there a few years. Um, yeah, it, it was interesting too. You were saying you were going back for the the AIM qualifiers because we were talking about that a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be doing. Uh, I actually need to register. I'm going to be doing Cortland. Okay. Um, that's like what works into my schedule, and then we're I'm, gonna, I'm I, doing one of the other two. I I mean I'm probably leaning more towards Lakeshore at this point because I gotta I gotta I still have to get signed up and everything too. So that that probably works out best with my schedule. Yeah, and then the last chance falls at Winoa. <laughs> so that's what I thought is like both of us play there a bunch. So yeah, you, know, you saw me hyping you guys up though. Early one. You saw me yeah, hyping yeah, you guys we up. Did. We're not gonna need I that. Mean, ideally, ideally we don't need it, but it's like we yeah. At least to, you're not like, playing at Green Lakes for the last there, chance, so. right? Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I've, I've never played. I've never played <clears> a competitive solo round. Of, if I have a good day, like, I mean, we can get in there. I know that I know TJ's he played last year and he was like yeah to get back for sure it, so it'll be interesting to see this is gonna be your first competitive event yeah yeah that, awesome I, I've never like solo. Played. solo 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 played like we've team done like stuff. team tournaments yeah sure sure yeah but yeah that's awesome solo event I don't I have no clue it's a whole different game brother whole different I game it. I believe whole different it. game so. it's uh it's exciting though it, it, you're uh you're gonna be nervous and you're gonna you're gonna enjoy the game. But the second it's over, you're gonna be signing yourself up for another one. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. it's uh, I, it's I talk it's about great it from time to time. Like, so I play competitive disc golf, which it sounds yeah, sure, horny. But the the best part about that is, I remember my first tournament. I was so I was so nervous because it's like you know it's a solo sport, so it's like it's all mental. And any yeah. mistake you make, you got to get yourself out of it. But now I'm like itching at it this season. I'm I'm excited to play in a bunch of different stuff and um it, yeah it's it's um, i'm looking forward to it i i like a challenge so i could care less if i completely blow up and suck or if i like surprise myself and surprise a bunch of people it'll just it's a fun fun along the fun to be along the for the ride it'd be crazy if all three of us, you know made it it'd be ended crazy. up there you know? then run, and we're run, competing run, uh, against each other <laughs> yeah that'd be sick. yeah that'd be unreal green lakes too Ooh, which it's yeah. like to then I guess like if the to make it that first round is like that's probably the course I know the best of those mm-hmm. that yeah. are set for the actual championship. But if, uh, if all three of us get in, we'll give you a GoPro. You can slap in the cart. Perfect. We'll get 
Perfect. Yeah. Um, um, so yeah. where's where's the finals if you qualify for it? That so where is it? Like, what's the time frame for where? So if you qualify in Indianapolis, like, where do you go after that? Sure. So if I qualify, um, I play in the U.S. Adaptive Open, um, which is in Sand Creek Station, can or uh, Newton, Kansas, um, and the golf course is called Sand Creek Station. Um, so I've looked it up, and it's it's a, a pretty popular course. Uh, personally, <laughs> I never heard about it, but um, it's held a few PGA events, and um, that'll that'll be quite the travel. That'll be quite the travel, yeah. but. Yeah. It's um it I talked to my my dad the other day who he's coming with me. He's gonna be my caddy. And um yeah. he uh he said, I don't care if you shoot 110 in Kansas, but we're we're getting there. We're getting to Kansas. So um, you know, right now my first focus is just locking in on Indianapolis and playing well enough to get my foot in the door and um getting to Kansas and trying to make a name for myself as soon as I can. Cool. What's the date of the Indianapolis tournament? Uh, July eighth through the tenth, so it's a three day. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we'll have to we'll check in with you maybe again before that, and then after that too. You know, just kind of get your feedback playing sure. at that event. Yeah, Wait, absolutely. Indianapolis is earlier than that, right? Yeah. So Indianapolis is May seventh. Um, oh, gotcha. and then okay. and then if I qualify on May seventh, I play so July eighth eighth through the tenth. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, you have to keep yeah. you have to keep us definitely uh posted on yeah i definitely absolutely i'll be texting you that that week to check in with you for sure how you're doing stuff for they sure. gotta have some like digital leaderboard right yeah so, no for sure it's it's pretty pretty well covered um the the qualifier itself is just kind of like a aim qualifier um so it'll have the live leaderboard but the adaptive open itself is televised oh no so, shit yeah yeah so it's treated it's treated kind of like a like a regular sunday like thursday through sunday golf event so we'll have to get like a, a yeah. basic bogey like marker for him so yeah yeah that on the <laughs> a little plug a little plug on the yeah, side yeah. of the hat or something <laughs> thanks for watching today's episode to see more of our content be sure to follow us on instagram tiktok and subscribe on youtube we can be found at basic bogeys on all platforms thanks we hope to see you on the next one